I think uh, we have to acknowledge that there is, uh, uh, first and foremost, there is some political uh, fatigue among the young people. And this is, of course, due to disappointments or what they perceive as uh, 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 lacking or unmet expectations by, of course, from our side and, of course, on the government side. Uh, that is one side. The other one is uh, apathy, where young people do not see the, in, the need to be involved in the electoral process. And this is are the two uh, main key factors that we have been identified and we have seen clear trends even in the Sarawak, Johor and Malacca elections. We know young people are burdened, young people are being affected by uh, different issues. Three main, main issues that after hearing different feedbacks, of course, number one is, uh, is quality jobs. Uh, the fact that many young people graduate or come out of schools and they cannot find a, a reasonable paying job. So this is an issue that we, we, we are addressing. Number two is of course affordable housing, which is a very serious problem, uh, especially in, in the Kang Valley. And also number three is on issues on healthcare and education. And of course number four is on environment. So we have been uh, identifying key issues. And besides just championing uh, these issues, one of the things we want to take the next step, especially on the Dempsey level, to, to inform the young people of what we want to do uh, to address these issues on a policy level and also on an initiative level. I think what we want to, we, we, one thing, the advantage that we have right now is that we have been through being part of the opposition, being part of government, and now the opposition again. I think this experience will actually give us an advantage, especially as we prepare for the next general elections as a government in waiting. I think one of the, the things that the people want to see is how we can make things different compared to what it is now. So, so gone are they, especially the young people. Young people do not just want to see a, a political party fighting for them. They want to see a political party fighting for them plus coming up with solutions. So, so that is a, a more, more, more holistic kind of a alternative towards the people. And that is where we as DAP, we are committed to bring that. That's why, as I mentioned just now, one of the focus is on focusing on public policies and ensure that, that we offer the alternative solution to the people of, 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 of Malaysia. So that is why uh, one of the key things that we are focusing, not just on DAP level, but also on DAP, is we are preparing our, our, our deal to the people in terms of our manifesto, if you want to put it that way, uh, on how we want to address uh, the issues that they face on a, on a daily basis. So we bring new perspective, we bring new ideas, we bring a fresh approach on top of the experience that we had when we in government. So we may be young, but it does not mean but we have gone through quite a lot of experience to bring to where we are right now and we want to bring that uh, to the people of Malaysia once they give us a chance in the next generation.